and welcome to a quick overview of an of an awesome but relatively unknown Cisco feature called Smart Install. Smart Install is a plug and play configuration and image management feature that provides zero touch deployment for new switches. So in our topology here, we basically have a director switch, which in the lab that I'll be demonstrating this is a 3850. We also have client switches that are uh, 2960C. I actually only have one because this is just a small demonstration. Now, we have an external TFTP server and an external DHCP, C DHCP server depicted here. However, those services can actually co-reside on the director switch as I'll demonstrate today. If you have many different switch types that you want to have a different image, different configuration file for, you may run out of flash space, uh, flash storage space on the director switch, hence the reason for an external TFTP server. Uh, conversely, DHCP, sometimes people don't like to run that service on the switch directly, and they prefer to have a central DHCP server for all DHCP needs. So, that being said, these two server servers and services, I should say, will co-reside on the director switch. So without further ado, let's get into how easy and what it looks like to configure Smart Install. So we'll start with the director switch, which is the 3850. And there's a complete list of all the switches that are supported to be a 3850, which I'll provide the URL for the configuration guide, which includes that information at the end of this video. Now, this is how easy it is to get Smart Install up and running and why I like it so much. Network administrators, network operations teams, um, typically on short time frames, you know, always at the crunch trying to get things done quickly. And this is an easy way to stage and deploy switches either directly back at the headquarters or out in the field. So, let us go ahead and get started. The key command is vstack, that is the key smart install command, and I'll say vstack director 192.168.200.1, which happens to be the SVI, the switch virtual interface of VLAN 1, and I'll do vstack basic. Wow, that's really it. Really? That's it? Yes, that's all you do. And those two commands will get you started. You could see there's no other options, right? So I do that. And now I'm going to go ahead and actually do the DHCP, configure the DHCP pool, which I'm just going to copy and paste, save you the agony of watching me type that out. And then finally, I'm going to designate which image and config file I want my 2960C to use from the director switch. You can see I actually created a custom group for the 2960, which is based on the product ID match ws-c2960c-12pc-l, which happens to be the 12 port version, power over ethernet variant of the 2960c. So when this switch comes up and identifies itself and says, hey, I got this PID, it's gonna get the config file, smart install, underscore config, underscore 2960c, as well as this image file, which, hap which happens to be 1223. Additionally, you could add a script after the configuration to let's say you had a, uh, a generic template config but then each switch you wanted to have something uh, each additional switch you want to have something specific certain variables uh, unique IP addresses you can actually run a config script after the initial config is pushed out so with that said this is it I'm trying to keep this video short and sweet so I'm gonna do a show V stack status make sure we're all green lights and we are we can see our 3850 director switch is up and running we can also see that I did five takes of this video by the device number because I had to clear the database five times and I have my 2960 client calling in let's go ahead and switch over to the 2960C and see what it's doing now I saved you the agony of watching this post so it post, it was a brand new config, there was nothing, uh, it, was, it was out of the box, right? There was, you know, I did a write erase, delete my VLAN dot that, reloaded it, and here's what we, we see it doing. It grabbed an IP address, which is in that pool that we designated 10.100.200.0 class C, and it 
automatically communicate with the, di with the director switch, pulled its configuration down, and now it's actually starting to do the software image update. Now this is going to take some time, but that's pretty much all there is to Smart Install. I hope you found this video informational, and I hope you can find a fit for the Smart Install feature in your environment. Thank you for watching.